When you think about air pollution, you probably think about something like this. But indoor pollution is bad for you too, and for the climate. Matthew Johnson wanted to do something about that, so he started inventing a solution. I've been teaching atmospheric chemistry at the University of Copenhagen for over a decade. And so I know the natural processes that the atmosphere uses to remove pollution. And this got me started thinking, how could we do this in a building? What we do essentially is to accelerate the atmosphere's processes by maybe a factor of 100,000. And this allows us to clean the air within a few seconds. In the chemistry labs of the University of Copenhagen, Matthew Johnson has been trying to figure out how to bring open air methods inside. Because unlike the outdoor atmosphere, your office air never had a natural way of cleaning itself. The atmosphere removes pollution using a combination of sunlight and water vapor. What we've been able to do is to capture the essentials of this process and put them into clean air. Clean air is an invention recently patented by Matthew Johnson. Using nature's own method, it manages to get rid of ozone, virus, perfume, cigarette smoke. And this looks good. In fact, just about any kind of pollution you can think of. And cleaning indoor air might save billions of dollars worldwide. Uh, we do know that buildings use about 40% of all energy that's produced. And so there's a potential for a huge savings. A prototype of the patented air cleaner is now being installed in a brand new building at the University of Copenhagen. And even though the building is new, installing the air cleaner will almost certainly save money. Because getting rid of indoor pollution normally takes energy. You might open a window, for example. When you do this, you're throwing away air that has the right temperature and you need to bring air into the building and when you do that you might have to heat that air you have to cool that air this takes energy so if you save energy you save money at the same time uh, you save carbon dioxide so copying a simple process from the natural atmosphere and putting it in a box has the potential to reduce global energy use by a whopping five percent you always need to bring in some external air. However, you can save a lot of energy uh, simply by cleaning and recirculating the air that you already have.